Now, the Biden administration has faced pressure to be more transparent with journalists who are still not allowed inside any facilities, despite multiple requests. Our team has all of the latest reporting on this situation. Dasha Burns is in Hildago, Texas, and Peter Alexander is over at the White House. And so, Dasha, we'll start with you. So we're getting these first images from inside these facilities. Yeah. How did they compare to what you're actually hearing from officials and families, people that you've talked to on the ground there? Jeff, we've been pushing for transparency. This is a first step towards that. The next step would be actually allowing media access to some of these facilities, particularly Donna, which we know is the epicenter of overcrowding. But look, these images do largely line up with what we've been hearing. There are no kids in cages, but we do see overcrowding, especially in that four minute video from Donna. We can see that in those partitions, there are more kids than there should be. We know it is significantly over capacity. And the bottom line here, here, Jeff, is that these facilities are simply not meant for children, especially not meant for children for significant amounts of time. I got the chance to speak with the vice president of the National Border Patrol Council. That's the union representing Border Patrol agents because we have not, have not been able to get an interview with uh, Customs and Border Protection. And he told me that he felt that he, he and his agents, they were not properly equipped to deal with a humanitarian crisis, especially not one involving kids. Take a listen to to some of what he told me. Well, you know, it's, you know, not only are we not um, designed to hold kids, we're not designed to hold people over uh, 48 hours. We're, we're a short-term facility. We don't usually have uh, shower facilities or, or hot food points. It's, we, we catch somebody within, uh, you know, a matter of 10, 12 hours, they're, they're gone out the door to another agency or, or back to wherever they came from. The system is broken down, not necessarily on the Border Patrol side, but above us with the uh, Health and Human Services side, because once we get people done and they're processed, ready to go out the door, they're not ready to take them, so they stay with us even longer. Simply put, Jeff, he said, we are Border Patrol agents. We are not daycare, saying that these kids should really be in the custody of Health and Human Services. And the big concern from him and, and his fellow agents, he says, is that this administration's policy of allowing unaccompanied minors into the country is going to encourage parents to continue sending their kids to the border. Jeff. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.